क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज अ वर्टिकल पोल ऑफ लेंथ सिक्स मीटर कास्ट अ शेडो फोर मीटर लॉन्ग ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड एट द सेम टाइम अ टावर कास्ट अ शेडो ट्वेंटी एट मीटर्स लॉन्ग फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ द टावर सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन बेटर लेट्स फर्स्ट ड्रॉ अ फिगर रिप्रेजेंटिंग ऑल द गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके सो हेयर्स अ फिगर दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन फॉर यू and let me explain this figure carefully because basically this figure is uh, the key to solving the problem so follow me carefully as i explain uh, what this figure how i've drawn this figure so this here that you see this thing is uh, the vertical pole and this is the shadow of the pole and this is rays of sunlight falling and creating this shadow and similarly we have this tower here and this is the shadow of the tower and these rays are the rays that are creating the uh, shadow of the tar okay so what the problem statement is telling us is that the length the height of the pole is 6 meters and the shadow casted by the pole is 4 meters long so this here is 4 meters this shadow okay and at the same time this tower whose height we don't know is uh, casting a shadow that is 28 meters long so using these three numbers 4 meters 6 meters and 28 meters we have to find what is the height of the tower so here's the key idea involved if the shadows are being measured at the same time then the sun's eleva elevation will be exactly the same for both the pole and the tower assuming that they are nearby they are in the same area so in other words the sun will be at the same elevation in the sky whether you are near the pole or near the tar and this means that the sun rays will form the same angle with the ground so if you take this angle here formed between sun rays and the ground the slant of the sun rays and if you take this angle here uh, these two angles will be the same if you are measuring the shadow at the same time now this leads to an interesting conclusion and let me show you what that is so consider the triangle that is formed by this point here which is the top of the pole uh this point here which is the foot of the pole and this point here which is the um uh, tip of the pole's shadow okay so let's call these three points a b and c so if you observe carefully triangle abc is a right angled triangle and let me highlight uh, this triangle for you so triangle abc if you take this triangle this is a right angled triangle right and similarly if you consider the triangle that's formed by the top of the tar which is this point here the foot of the tar which is this point here and the Uh, tip of the tar's shadow with which is this point here uh, these three points also form a right angle triangle so let's call uh, these three points p q r so p q r also forms a right angled triangle and let me highlight that as well so p q r so this triangle this triangle is also a right angled triangle and now it's easy to see that these two triangles must be similar why because this angle uh, at a is equal to the angle at p as uh, because the shadow is being measured at the same time and also the angle abc is 90 because the pole is vertical and similarly the tower is vertical so angle pqr is also 90 degrees so by a, a similarity the two triangles will be similar and therefore the sides of the triangle will be proportional and from there we can find the uh, height of the tar okay so let me write this uh, reasoning now so in triangle abc and triangle pqr these are the two triangles we are comparing angle a is equal to angle p and this is because the elevation of the sun is the same because the shadow is being measured at the same time the shadows are being measured at the same time and similarly angle b is equal to angle q this is basically because the pole and the tar both of them are vertical 90 degrees 
okay and because of this we can say that triangle ABC must be similar to triangle PQR by the AA similarity criterion okay and now because these two triangles are similar their sides must be proportional so therefore we can say that BC which is the poles height observe the figure BC is the poles height by the corresponding side in PQR is QR the towers height this must be equal to AB the poles shadow by PQ the towers shadow okay so let's plug in the values so BC is 6 meters uh, QR is unknown AB is 4 meters and PQ is 28 meters so uh, 4 by 4 meters by 28 meters is 1 by 7 so if we cross multiply now we will get the value of QR so QR will be 7 into 6 if we take it to the uh, left side so 7 into 6 or 42 meters so the length the length of QR or basically the height of the tower is 42 meters this is what we had to find so this is the answer for question 15 so we were able to find the height of the tower just from the length of its shadow which is 28 meters uh, and without measuring it directly this technique has been a very common technique in measuring the heights of tall buildings and other structures just find the length of the building's shadow in this case 28 meters and at the same time take a short stick or rod whose length you know like in this case the pole's uh, length is 6 meters and keeping it vertical find its shadow's length as well which was 4 meters in this case and from these three lengths from these three numbers the length of the rod and the uh, lengths of the two shadows uh, you can find the height of the building so this is a very cool application of the concept of similarity but remember the shadows must be measured at exactly the same time otherwise the sun's elevation will not be the same and the two triangles will not be similar okay so that completes question number 15. to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.